this time. Uh, traditional read the ketubah. Ketubah means uh, written document in Hebrew, and a very ancient tradition, of course, in Judaism, uh, to have this written marriage contract uh, to express the uh, commitment together and uh, what you were bound to one another uh, this day. And uh, Robert and them chose a very beautiful uh, traditional one. Okay, check this out later. Uh, Tuba, and it's filled in the Hebrew with proper names, uh, family names, and all. And uh, I will uh, read the English translation for us. I think it's, it's very filled with. On the sixth day of the week, in the 21st day of the month of ER, in the year 5769, corresponding to the 15th day of May in the year 2009, the Holy Covenant of Marriage was entered into here in San Diego, California, between the groom, Robert Michael Paz, son of Rochelle Walter, and the bride, Jeanette Martinez Diaz Moran, daughter of Anna Molano. The bride said to the groom, be thou consecrated to me as my husband, according to the tradition of Moses and Israel. I shall treasure you and respect you with honor and devotion, as is customary among Jewish women who have loved and cherished their husbands through the ages. The groom said to the bride, Be thou consecrated to me as my wife, according to the tradition of Moses and Israel. I will treasure you and respect you with honor and devotion, as is customary among Jewish men who have loved, who have loved and cherished their wives through the ages. As we share life's everyday experiences, we promise to strive for an intimacy that will enable us to express our innermost thoughts and feelings, to be sensitive at all times to each other's needs, to share life's joy, and to comfort each other through life's sorrows, to cha challenge each other to achieve intellectual and physical fulfillment, as well as spiritual and emotional fulfillment. We also promise to establish a home committed to our Jewish heritage in the Messiah, and linked eternally to the community of Israel, a home filled with respect for all people, a home filled with love, learning, compassion, and integrity. All this is valid and binding, and it's already been signed by the witnesses, and by bride and groom, and by myself as the rabbi. Uh, it's interesting, in Jewish tradition, uh, it is signed before the ceremony, uh, and actually the veil, is uh, bride is veiled by the uh, groom. Uh, very different from the Christian tradition. Most Christian traditions, you don't see the bride, right? It's almost kind of superstitious. And, uh, you know, you never know who's going to walk down the aisle. So there she is, right? But, uh, we had a problem with that. You may remember one of our forefathers, Jacob, and they didn't quite check the veil so quick, uh, carefully, and uh, surprise, surprise. So, anyway, Robert insisted checking the veil first. <laughs> and uh, still no switches since they're here, right? <laughs> Good. And so, uh, in the spiritual sense, they were married. When they signed this contract, the Pupa is the public ceremony to express uh, this covenant together. So, what a beautiful uh, document, and may it be a constant reminder of the vows you share today. Thank you.